Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is Dave, and we are reviewing Catapult Kingdoms again. So, this is the last big kind of expansion, when I mean big, <laughs> humongous expansion here. This basically contains a volcano and a few balls to throw into them to attack your opponents and some cards, but this is a chunky, massive volcano that's going to sit in the middle of the playing field, obstructing your shots and also flinging deadly lava balls at you and your opponent. Um, this, When I see seen this volcano um, for the first time, that's what kind of sparked me to back the Kickstarter when I did. Again, uh, Vesuvius is supporting the channel by giving giving me a all-inclusive Kickstarter, but I personally backed this at a just standard level because I seen this volcano. Now, it doesn't seem practical and it does seem like it's going to be too intrusive and obstructive, uh, but uh, I like kooky things like that. So let me show you this thing in its entirety and then we'll come back and give you my thoughts. Okay, so what do you get in the Volcano expansion? Just that, the Volcano. And this is a massive, purple, fantastic, soft plastic, but hardy Volcano here. As you can see, the piping is going three different directions. You have three different holes on the top here. Um, one will go that way, one will go that way, and the top one will go either way. Let's see if we, oh, the luck wasn't in our favor. Yep, it goes out that way. Now, um, the volcanic balls themselves are very heavy and they are going to be knocking over some castle walls, trust me. Um, and the cards here are is really cool art, a linen finish. It's basically these are where it's gonna be telling you what the volcano does. Uh, but it's amazing. And not many like material things here, but what is here is highly produced. So now let me show you how this volcano changes up the game. Okay, so this is the game setup. Now basically you'll be taking the volcano and putting it in the middle of the table equal distance from each player. And right now I just have it this way for the example. First, let's go over the card effects. Um, so the lava shield allows you to stop the ball before it hits your wall. A lava flow allows you to put a ball nearest to you so it goes out the right hole and knocks over some of your opponent's stuff. Uh, eruption, you'll put two of the lava balls in top here and they'll go random places. Prisoner basically is just that. You take a prisoner, put them in your camp. If they get knocked over, then it's your opponent's uh, foul and they lose a person. And a switcheroo is basically just the same thing. It's kind of rescue in your um, prisoner if you have it. And scavenger, this is, allows you to get more bricks and put bad to your castle. Now. When you have the volcano in play, you can have any expansions. I do like the rounded, curved uh, edges of the castle. Kind of deflects the boulders a little bit more. Um, but you can have anything going. So you can have like the Vikings going on here. You also have yourself your, your mighty plumber. It just matters where the volcano is in the middle here. What you're doing at the beginning of each round, so once everybody's taken their turn, the volcano will erupt one volcanic ball in the top here putting it ooh, to one of these sides. Now, if it's a four player game, you can turn it uh, every uh, ball that gets placed down into it. But most of the time you're gonna be playing two players. Now, if anything is touched by this volcanic ball, it is considered destroyed. So any figures, any um, blocks, even if it just taps it, they are gone. And anything that's on top of it will fall down kind of like Tetris, unless it's got touched or is knocked over completely. Now, during the tactics turn, you can instead grab one of those cards that we were talking about for the volcano and do one of those actions. But what are we here to see? We wanna see this volcano blast this guy right here. So let's do this right now. So that didn't hurt too much, but that, that wall would have been taken down a little bit. And that, I like how it just went through there. So on my like soft pad here it's not going as fast but on a hardwood floor these uh, volcanic balls would probably do more damage but again it's just if they touch any of these spaces then 
Oh, there we go. They're going to destroy them regardless. One last thing though, that sneaky fire lava ball that went through my doorway, if it ever goes all the way through my player board to the end, I automatically lose. So you want to build your castle with some blockage, even in the back, just to save yourself if you're playing with the volcano. So those are the basics. Now let me tell you my thoughts. So that is the volcanic or volcano expansion. What do I think of this one? Yeah, I, it, it pretty much lived up to uh, what I thought it would be. It does have its moments. The balls don't shoot out unless it's on a wood floor um, fast and knock over things. But again, when the ball touches anything, that destroys the bricks. So I think they put that roll in there to bounce the speed on different floors because again again this is a game to be played on the floors does it get in the way absolutely but i was able to shoot most of my boulders around it at my opponent and it is random especially when you're putting the balls on top where it's going to come out but you can mitigate that and play the cards and make sure it's going to your opponents but i was taken out by this volcano a couple of games just alone by it uh by it just f going right through my board uh like when you seen it go through the door in the example that's happened to me and went all the way through my board one time and i lost the game so it, it has you thinking differently on how you're going to build your castle which is fun because normally i get stagnant and i build the same kind of structures but when you're going to play with the volcano you got to make sure there's no holes and you want to put a back wall because if it takes out the few bricks in front you want to make sure it's stopped uh before it gets off the board because again that's a new losing stipulation it it does shift the game up quite a bit and I do think not since the Siege edition does an expansion really make the game change and has me seeing it through a different frame of view so I do think this is a great second expansion if you pick up the Siege is always the one to go with but this is a a great addition especially for a second uh, expansion if you're picking up any of them and I think it does just enough to change the game up but keep it still catapult kingdoms at its core and if you want people to uh, come by the the table and see a game and be just brought in you play it with the um, Viking ship and the volcano you'll have all this cr these crazy pieces out and people are going to be like, what the heck's this game and i do think uh, catapult kingdoms is one of those aesthetically pleasing games and it does it so well and this volcano expansion really wraps it up in a bow overall i'm gushing over it i like it a lot and again i'm biased i do think you can play catapult kingdoms without this volcano volcano and be just as happy and have just as much fun so if you add this bad boy into the equation, I do think it's going to make the grin even bigger if you like Catapult Kingdom. So again, thank you so much for Subi's Media for uh, providing us with this volcano expansion. I love reviewing Catapult Kingdoms. It's been so much fun. Thank you so much, Vine Nation, for clicking like and subscribe. And until the next time, let's see you have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. You heard it here on Game Vine. Bye. Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers so subscribe now and help us out this video right here I think you'll like this video right here YouTube thinks you'll like or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer you can visit us at our social media outlets and we're going to be improving our patreon here soon that's all for today Miko it's time to go good girl Miko